and it's time for another thrilling installment of Jackalope Hunting in Exodus. This is where we crack open packs of Exodus Magic the Gathering from 1998 and see if we can pull a Jackalope herd. He's the channel mascot, he's blessing the pack. Let's see how we do today. We had a crazy pull early on. If you haven't seen it, go back, check it out. I think you'll appreciate that. And let's see if I can get this pack open today. Yep, totally destroyed it. And we've got to do a special ordering here. They're a bit outside the traditional ordering. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And we have uncommon, 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 rare. Pop those in the back. And let's see how we do today with the jackalope hunt. We have Cunning, pay one in an island, Enchant Creature, Enchanted Creature gets plus three, plus three, if Enchanted Creature attacks or blocks, sacrifice Cunning at end of turn, Dry Walkers die, we feed on sweet flesh, Root Water Saga, if anyone knows what the deal is with that, leave a note in the comments. We have a Reckless Ogre. He's just pummeling guys left and right. You pay four. Summon Ogre. He's a 3-2. If he attacks and no other creatures do, it gets plus three, plus zero until end of turn. There's no such thing as a regiment of Ogres. And Soul Warden. I think I've seen this reprinted. Is it Eternal Masters? One of those. Um, pay a planes. Summon Cleric 1-1. One, one. Whenever any other creature comes into play, gain one life. Count carefully the souls and see that none are lost. Vec teaching. Next up we have vampire hounds. So we've got a pack of animals but not the kind we are looking for. Pay three. Summon hounds. Two two. Choose and discard a creature card. Vampire hounds gets plus two plus two until end of turn. The hound's barks are a horrifying chorus of screams, moans, and whispers. Oh, another green, but not what we're looking for. Wood elves. Pay two in a forest. You get to summon the elves. They're 1-1. One, one. When wood elves comes into play, search your library for a forest card and put that forest into play. Shuffle your library afterwards. Secure it in the embrace of wood. They want no part of Elidamri's war. Next up we get Merfolk Looter and that is some cool artwork. Pay one on an island, summon Merfolk, it's a 1-1. One, one. You can tap, draw a card, then choose and discard a card. In the depths of root water, salvage and sewage differ only in texture. Delightful. And another green. Pulled a couple of these so far. Bequeathal. Pay a forest enchant creature. If enchanted creature is put into any graveyard, draw two cards. School of Piranha. Pay one in an island. Summon fish. During your upkeep, pay one in an island or sacrifice school of Piranha. Some schools aren't worth getting into. Here's a 3-3. Three, three. Raging Goblin. Pay a mountain, summon goblin, and he's unaffected by summoning sickness. He's a 1-1. One, one. So, hasty fellow. Angelic Blessing. Pay two in a plains. Target creature gets plus three, plus three, and gains flying until end of turn. Only the warrior who can admit mortal weakness will be bolstered by immortal strength. Very nice. Cursed Flesh. Pay a swamp. Enchanted creature gets minus one, minus one, and cannot be blocked except by artifact creatures and black creatures. Now we move on to the Uncommons, Treasure Hunter, pay two in a plane, summon Townsfolk, when Treasure Hunter comes into play, you may return target artifact card from your graveyard to your hand, so he's a 2-2. Two, two. Dorthai Cutthroat, pay one in the swamp, summon minion, has shadow ability, this creature can't, can block or be blocked by only creatures with shadow. Pay one in a swamp, tap, destroy target creature with shadow. In their twisted logic, to empty the shadow world is to escape it. So this is a 1-1 one, one creature. 
very sinister looking thing. Scrivener. So we get a summon townsfolk 2-2 two, two for 5 mana. When Scrivener comes into play, you may return target instant or interrupt card from your graveyard to your hand. So they've got a bit of a distinction at instant or interrupts. I think interrupts was some mechanic they had early on that they simplified later. History is a potent weapon, Khan Silver Golem. And I believe he's making a triumphant return in Dominaria, so looking forward to that. And the rare, Oath of Druids. So you pay one and a forest, an enchantment. During each player's upkeep, if that player controls fewer creatures than target opponent, the player may reveal cards from his or her library until he or she reveals a creature card. The player puts that creature into play and all other revealed cards into his or her graveyard. Let's get a closer look at that. Very nice. Loving the old school flavor of these cards. All right, so if you enjoy your old school flavor artwork, please give this video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings, and have a great day. The Jackalope Hunt will continue.